Welcome to Tech Tip Tip Tick Tip Tippy Tick. Uh. Welcome to Mini Tip Tuesday. Let's just get into the video. Uh, so I I was flying and I inevitably when I go hard I crash. That happens. Every pilot knows it. But as a result, you get a really dirty quad. Well, I'm going to show you the best way or my way of how to clean your quadcopter safely and effectively so that uh, none of your components are all gunked up. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first step is to completely disassemble your quad so you can access all the components easily. Uh, in this video, I'll be showing you how to pretty much clean everything. That includes the motors, uh, components like your flight controller, ESCs, and your camera. Uh, but luckily for you, it's pretty easy. After you disassemble your quad, and all the dirty components are accessible, you take something like a toothbrush with soft bristles. You don't want to be too rough. One thing to note that's very important is you want this to be dry. So if you get in like a big mud puddle, you want all that to dry. Make sure nothing's plugged in, take everything apart. And uh, I find that if it's dry, it just kind of powders and comes off really easily. Otherwise, you're just going to be spreading it around and, and getting all that stuff deep in the, in the components, and you really don't want that. So I first take off everything and just lightly go over all my pads. I try not to rub the wires themselves because that puts too much stress on the pads, so instead I just focus on the pads and I just kind of I just kind of lightly rub the bristles of the toothbrush in between the cracks. It's it's like brushing your quad's teeth. On places that are more stable such as uh, the arms or the carbon fiber itself, you can really get in there. All around the motors. So let me show you. See that right there, how dirty that is? Well, I'm going to rub that with my toothbrush here, and I'll show you what it looks like after. Now take a look. Much cleaner. So now it's time for the isopropyl alcohol part. In this part, we want to have a clean workspace, so kind of push all the dirt that you have inevitably got off your quad. Uh, off to the side or you know clean it up or whatever you what, what have you and now we want to take a different toothbrush one that's clean and a little dish with isopropyl alcohol I'm just using your generic you know medicine store 91% isopropyl alcohol take your toothbrush and get it nice and damp and then you just lightly go over your electronics Look how clean that looks. Mm. Now, obviously, you don't want to start this up for a long time. I would probably wait four hours until you fly, just because you want everything to be completely dry. Fortunately, it's isopropyl alcohol, so if you have it in a place that's warm, uh, it actually evaporates a lot quicker. Okay, so now that we have all the motors off, I'm going to take apart the bell from uh, the motor windings. In this case, I have a set screw that I can unscrew. Some people have the C-clamps. Those are harder to get off and harder to put on, but um, sometimes you just got to deal with it. So let's take these off, and we'll go through the whole treatment, but on the motors. All right, so now that I have these motors disassembled, I'm going to show you what I do to really get in there and clean them. I take that isopropyl alcohol, and I just really get in there and scrub it like this going to look a whole lot cleaner, a whole lot more beautiful. And you really want to make sure you get that bearing all nice and clean. And uh, make sure you clean the steel around the motor windings as well. Make sure you clean the inside of this as well. So there's no dirt there. You can even submerge these if you want, just in, you know, a bowl of isopropyl alcohol or something, really loosen it up. Make sure those magnets are nice and clean. Just do this with all the rest of them, and once you put it back together, you'll be good to go. I'll show you the end result here in a second. I present to you the finished product. She's beautiful, no? All right, so if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Happy flying.